Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Libra friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing our tarot for April 28th. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? Now, let's get going on this, shall we? I am going to do three clarifiers per each energy, past, present, and future. And I'm too lazy to throw up the story. Not that I don't want to. I really love the story because it pays homage to the cards themselves because that's what deck I got. I got the really cool zombie deck. And it's got such beautiful art. Now, um, remember that if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. If it does, it does. When we get to the future, it's, the future is not set in stone. You can decide which way you want to go and how you want to go about it, okay? I apologize for the background noise in the background. And I am shuffling because I don't think anybody realizes that I do shuffle these beforehand. I usually just try and save time as much as possible when it comes to these readings by doing it and then doing the video and making the video as short as possible. But this is going to be a little longer. Maybe not too much longer. Now, let's talk about... Here. Is your past energy? I'm going to kill myself. And then... Ooh, present energy. You can take my... And your future energy. Okay. No, we'll do. Now let's get Stay clarifiers shot. for each. Okay, so the cards want me to do maybe more than three. So we're going to do five cards for your past energy. Man, these are really speaking tonight, aren't they? Five for current energy. Let me shuffle these. My hands are so small. <laughs> Somehow I was able to see me through the fucking window and notice that I was to the right of the window, which is Video game. the opposite side of the Alright. Okay, so, wow, this is gonna be so great. I'm pretty sure you're all sick of hearing the same shit over and over again, right? I mean, I, I actually watch Libra Terrets religiously. On YouTube, I like to listen to our story what? and relate, even if it's not always my story. It's the Libra story. Okay, so that's the only sign I'm very familiar with watching on YouTube. But unfortunately, you. Holy shit! Okay. Past energy. Here we're dealing with a material kind of woman. A boss lady. You know, someone who wasn't going to put up with shit. But at the same time, she was decent when no one was around, right? Then you've got a male in your life who's the king of swords. I'm at the top of the stairs. Doesn't listen to the whole story. Just assumes. And goes and goes and goes, right? That's at least 20 feet. But... You know, you are enjoying, or you were enjoying family time. Just you and the love of your life, or the, your kids, or, you know, just your family members or best friends, right? You're just enjoying everything while well, chaos ensues outside. All right? I'm pretty sure the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups said to you that if you do this for me, or better yet, I'll do this for you. But guess what? There are strings attached. Yeah, I hate people like that too. But that's just how it goes. Some people are like that. So someone's using you. They're thinking you're a puppet. But you... <laughs> you 
You were working your ass off, Libra. You were getting constantly everything you wanted, but you weren't getting what you needed out of this. Okay, you, you were just, you feel like you're a stripped down piggy bank and everybody's using you left and right and you feel like a doormat, right? Well, you're not. You were not a fucking doormat. Because that's how I feel, too. On the stairs. Two of Cups, you're able to finally sit down with people, you know, another person that you've been having strife with in the past, and sit down with them peacefully and have a good dinner and move on from the chaos, right? Which guy? Your current energy. Let me move that, because I end up stopping the video and then having to start a part two, and I don't want to do that. Ooh. So, that your current cool? energy is the... <laughs> Are you ready for this one? Ace of Swords. Right now, you gotta be careful what you say and how you say it to who you say it. Otherwise, you are gonna fucking cut ties that you shouldn't cut. You're gonna say something you'll regret and don't say anything, okay? Unless you absolutely mean it. And you don't end up coming back and asking for help again later. You're just getting sick of all the bullshit. So that leaves you dealing with a Sagittarius temperance, right? You don't know if, if this mix is gonna be good or if it's going to be bad. You're stuck in your head. You're stuck in your head. In the regular deck, there's a, a field of, of um, eight swords circling around a person, a girl or whatever, with a, a mask over her 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 eyes. And so this just means that you're stuck that you don't know what to do, you're just, you're thinking too much, okay? You don't need to think too much about that. And we're always stuck in our head, we're air signs, right? Um, gosh, we're stuck between two choices, right? We don't know what to do with ourselves. Now I'm going to consult something real quick, because I don't remember all the cards, nine of wands, huh? I've looked this up before, but it just doesn't stick in my brain. I've got short-term memory loss, so a lot of times when people message how great my video was, I don't remember <laughs> what the video was about. Yeah. Completion of tasks, willpower, and persistence. So you're, you are persistent to get shit handled. Huh? So am I. Yeah, we're fam. And, you know, sometimes it feels like, it just feels like fucking shit's not falling in place, right? We've got new tasks, we've got new goals we set, and we are following our destiny, okay? That's your present energy. Now let's talk about your future. Your future is, <laughs> are you ready for this one? Are you, Libra? Ten of Wands. You are fucking fighting for what you want and what you have. You're tired of people taking, taking, taking from you. You, you're done with it. Okay? That goes into this card, too. Sorry, I was thinking about that card, but yeah, thinking about this one at the same time. Top. So you're fighting, but you're juggling responsibilities. Okay, you, you know what I mean? Okay. So we're on the same page. You don't feel like there's any fucking cavalry coming. But guess what? There is. And you're juggling a lot of responsibilities. And with doing that, guess what? Oh, I hate this card. And I even, I don't know, what? I see it in every damn reading. I'm so sick of it. When I threw my C4, it stuck to the top of the window. I feel like there's it a wave of Libras out there the that, like, every week, the past lover comes back. And then that wave is gone. And then the next wave, there, the next week, there's another wave of lovers coming back. And it's just like, everybody's taking their turn, right? And it hasn't gotten to me yet, thank God. But, um, I hate this card. I mean, I wouldn't hate it, but at the same time, I do. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got someone coming back in your past. And this someone could be either an ex-lover, an ex-friend, or a... An ex family member, someone past related, right? I wouldn't hate it if it was family or friend related, but for exes, yeah, yeah, I would. 
But, um, I mean, it could be for the better, but it also, you know, you're, you're fucking, you're juggling and fighting for what you have, and this person's coming back thinking they can fucking walk in and take shit from you. That shit ain't happening, not no more. I mean, it's time to move on, dude, right? Kick them to the curb. You don't hear what they gotta say, get it over with. But, oh man, we're so tired as Libras. All right, well, um, that was your reading. So you you were being taken advantage of, yet being content with family, moving on to new de endeavors, being able to sit with someone past wise you're fucking in your head dealing with the Sagittarius maybe a couple of them just saying us Libras we're attracted to fire all right I mean I'm married to one eight years this October 31st so um ay -ay -ay. it's not the end of a cycle okay eventually this whole whole stage of the ex coming back will get done and over with and we'll be able to look to better readings right where you know you'll get a future love that treats you as much and as great as you treat them because we all deserve love right and that's why we as Libras reach out and we pamper the ones we love because that's the way we want them to pamper us and we, we want them to know that we do deeply care for them and cherish them in every way possible but sometimes we don't get that back in return, and sometimes that's okay, but at the other times it's not okay. It's not okay to be a doormat. It's not okay to be an open wallet for someone to fucking come in, get money, leave. Or, you know, a sex doll. You know, you're not a sex doll. I mean, we are fucking amazing in bed. I just, I know it because, I mean, I get told that a lot. But that's, that's not me getting hyped. That's just facts there, okay? It depends on the person. Like, I've been with... <laughs> I've been with... I've been with three Sages. My husband, my ex, and then someone else, right? And two of those three were really great in bed. The last one wasn't so much, okay? And it's just because not a lot of people have experience. And, and I'm not gonna tell someone that their sex is bad just because, you know, they, they don't match up to me. They tell me, they've told me that mine is really great. Now, I'm not tooting my horn. I'm. I'm just saying that you're not a sex doll, okay? You're not a sex slave. And you you don't play the I've got a headache game. No, you don't. You're more like, hey, <laughs> I got this whip and chains over here. Get over here <laughs> right now. And then your significant other's like, oh, headache, headache. And I'm like, really? 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 Well, <laughs> well, let me whip the headache out of you. <laughs> right? Anyway, you're going to have a great... It's, it's going to be okay, okay? You can reach out and talk to me. I'm always here. I love you all. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope or next time's Tarot. Love you, Libras. Bye, my beautiful family.